Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about visualizing division of fractions. 4 fraction divided by a whole number. We have a problem here. Mom Aniline has 3 fifths liters of fruit juice. She decided to give it to the two guards of their school. How many liters of fruit juice will each guard receive? For this problem, we'll be using models to visualize our problem because it's easier for our students to understand the concept of fractions when they see things because many of our students are visual learners. Let us draw first the three fifths. We'll be having one whole box and let's divide it into five equal parts. Let's shade three parts to represent three fifths. I'm trying to my best to make it perfect. This represents the three fifths liters of juice that Mom Anilin will give to the guards. How many guards do we have? We have two, so we'll be dividing into two equal parts. We're ready to give it to the guards, and this part is for the first guard, and this one is for our second guard. The question now is how many liters will each guard receive? And that will be this part, the one that I'm encircling right now. That is three shaded parts out of ten equal parts because the whole is divided into 10 equal parts. Our answer is 3 tenths liters. And that's it. We have another example here. 4 fifths divided by 5 is equal to blank. The first thing we should do is to draw a box and then we'll represent 4 fifths. Let's divide this box into 5 equal parts and then let's shade four parts. Let us just wait until I am done shading this. And this is our four fifths. Now, we will divide these four fifths into five equal parts because it says there we have to divide this whole into five parts. If we are going to count the number of parts this whole is divided, it is now 25. Later, this will be our denominator. The answer for this question is the number of the shaded regions in one of the five equal parts the whole is divided. And that is the one being encircled. How many shaded regions? We have four. It means that each of the five equal parts will have four regions that are being shaded. That is why we have four as our answer. What will be our denominator? that will give us 25 since this whole is divided to 25 equal parts now our final answer for this question is 4 over 25 and that's it first thing that we should do is to draw a box and then divide it into three equal parts shade two parts of it to represent two-thirds We'll wait until I'm done. Next, let's divide this box into three equal parts. What is the answer for this question? Is the one being encircled right now. And that is 2 out of 9. It means that each of the three equal parts will have two regions that are being shaded. Our final answer for this question is 2 ninths. And that's it. We're done. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!